Hey you guys, welcome back to another edition of WWE Card. I'm your host Aaron Mitchell and as you can see Undertaker appears on your front screen if you don't already know. <coughs> so um just hurting about I'm feeling a bit under the weather today but I gotta go I've gotta do a video for you guys and I'll be fine. And yeah, as I say enough um take a appears on your screen that is because it is ring domination this week. It starts usual time tomorrow morning. And the figure is the event card. And as you see, I can get. I'm in legendary, so I'll be going for the epic, legendary, and survivor. My aim is to get the legendary card. My deck is Cesaro, Epic Pro Brock, Epic Pro Roman, Epic Pro Kane, Epic Pro Stardust, Legendary Sean, Legendary Randy, Legendary Bray, and Legendary Reigns, and Legendary Goldust. Hopefully, it's one of those legendaries. I don't think. Of any other legendaries and my king ring i got through i didn't qualify i finished it was ninth for 10th and i got stardust ultra i would have been a pro but i put, chucked in my other ultra see stardust was my ultra freebie and i chucked my other ultra stardust into i believe it was his epic version when i pro him and i got j uso you so whatever you want to call him, I believe as well. That's key. I've got Kane and Randy by here. They are both imperfect pros. That's because because I had Drez. I just did them anyway. I've got no cards. Randy's on level nineteen. I forgot, but um, I forgot he's on level nineteen. No, Goldust is my last legendary. So hopefully it's one of those. Or hopefully I pull a legendary, and I will be starting. Uh, Season 1 and Season 2 King Ring tomorrow morning. Probably about, I usually start mine at about half, 10, 11. Usually about, uh, no, lately it's been like 11, 12. In like late morning, early afternoon in UK time. So yeah, that's it. I showed you my, I think I showed you my results yesterday from this King Ring. I got Survivor Seth Rollins. Yeah, I'm a bit annoyed I used up my super effusions because I could have chucked him in and then he could have been picture, my picture for my Sephiroth's cards and I got a Nikki Bella Survivor. It's my first time I've ever had a Nikki Bella Survivor card. So I chucked her in and I chucked, because I wanted to keep Seth, I chucked Sting into this Survivor Triple H. I, used my, my, I actually used my mind for once in my life. I probably had to show this in last last video, I can't remember. So I was again, I used my mind and said, put them into my, when that's level 29, which is 45, I put them into my one that I haven't, hadn't touched yet, and then I just checked a few commons and uncommons into it, him to max them out. Nicky needs to be maxed out, Seth needs to be maxed out, and my other survivor card needs to be maxed out. I may keep Seth no matter what legendary card I get, unless it's Shawn Michaels, maybe. I was going to say, oh, John Cena, but you can't get John Cena. Right, so let's play some gameplay. I played 163 games since my I got my Roman Reigns ladder award. I've got I've got to do a legendary card soon. My la latest higher I'm like decent tier poll was an epic Naomi in exhibition on Monday, I believe it was. Oh, and I got a legendary pro book T. I really need an epic. Pro soon, but Diva's actually winning quite a bit now. I know they're not compatible, but um, in the tag teams, they're still winning quite a bit because it's an epic pro and uh, the best legendary Diva in the game. Uh, I procked Roman and his power, so I should win, I believe. Yes, Brock and Roman win, so it's a 2 1 victory. That's great. And I don't think I've played Supercard much. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you now. No, I didn't play much yesterday. I don't think. I feel, uh, well, after I did the video yesterday, yesterday I was, again, I'm feeling a bit under the weather, but yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> and I, I might just do three matches in here and then three matches on my second account. Because now I'm in a team, I'm going to start. So I'm in a team on my second account. 
I want to start showing that account a bit as well in my videos. And even Ultra Pro Bailey, I want. I really, really want a Bailey. No, I don't care what tier it is. I just want Bailey. I'm, I must use Kane. It's just these two, and I will win because they're Epic Pro right back and Epic Pro Kane are not compatible. And Roman and Roman and Brock ain't, but they ain't really bad. They're both the same arrow, so it's it's okay. Let's try and get a free win and get a guaranteed reset. Let's see, let's play Mikey. I could get I could get beat free now. The record really doesn't matter. It's just some reason to me I always go for the person who's got the lower record, but yeah. Does it does mean that I'm going for the worst one because their record doesn't count for nothing. They could uh, look at this guy here. Look what I'm about. It's like, like me survivor on an epic pro type team. And he wins. So yeah, look, it looks like I'm gonna get hammered. And, oh, Brock, Brock. So it's down to the last game. But yeah, yeah, I just skipped that. He's got Seth Lawrence, nice. I really want an Epic Pro or Legendary Seth. So yeah, um, that could have gone anyway. That could have gone in his favor. He could have got the victory then. I get a rare power and an ultra, uh, ultra. Uh, Uncommon Mark Henry. Let's chuck them into Randy Orton. Let's see, there he is. I'm not too fast on the Ultra Air one. I'll use the Super Air one, which I've used on. I've used on quite a few of the Randy Orton cards I've got. Because it is Ultra Air one actually looks pretty good. If I say so myself. 19 out of 20, chuck them three into speed, speed, it can't reach really joint best start, uh, probably chuck his next one into power, but yeah, let's go on to, that's going to go on to season one and no, going on to season two to play three matches there. Um, trying to wrap, like, get my video at, level up, to try and get improved, and not pro them, to try and get into epics, look, look at that, on the edge. Let's take a spray out, put this spray in. It's got a few decent, decent amount of games played. We've got any cards to level up with. Yep, Natty, Summer, and Seth Rollins. So, yeah, when we've pre proed out, it'll be a decent one if I say so myself. I, need, I really need another Diva as well because I was pretty stupid and I chucked in my. Super rare Cameron into Braid to try and get make me into Epic and it didn't work. So hopefully I get into Epic and hopefully it is a, a diva. Can you imagine if it's Brock or Roman? That would be great if it was Pro, Pro, if it was Brock or Roman. If it was um Brock or Roman, I might Brie Bella defeat the Nicky Bella because they've got Ren Nicky and I've got a Super rare Brie. Toughness Christmas, I'm probably gonna lose. Ooh, I don't know. Nope, I win. Armpit Cameron. No, it wasn't Cameron, sorry. It was Rosa Mendez I used. Come on, uh, give me not ready either. Nope, energy, energy, energy. <laughs> Let's play Long John. Long John Silver in the Fusion Chamber. <laughs> as big as Biggie, not Biggie, dude, sorry. Um, big Jim from Jim Butt. M K Jim Banner from Bad Lad Dad. Let's use Bree and they won. Ooh, they won Epic Natalia. Nice. And let's use the new face of fear, Bree Wyatt. And Bree looks like he's gonna lose with Seth. Nope, they win. I, I generally thought that was gonna be a loss there. And let's use Prox City Brock Lesnar. F5 to Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan. That's one thing I can't wait for is when Daniel Bryan eventually returns. Because he, sh he should return because, if I'm correct, he has actually been medically cleared to compete. So, yeah, as I said, Daniel should come back, be back soon. And also, um, I, 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 I ain't picked 
um, spoken about this recently, but one good thing to do with Alberto Del Rio and Steph Cove performing Max America is they've actually decided, um, WWE have actually now decided to bring back Jack Swagger and they've actually made made him look pretty good, not like weak. Like when he was against Rusev, they made him look really, really weak. But against, I don't know if it's just me who's not to say it, but up against Alberto Del Rio, they've actually made him look pretty strong, especially, was it Monday? Maybe Monday, no, I think it was um, Thursday Night Smackdown. Um, he fended off an, an attack from Alberto Del Rio, so yeah. In my opinion, it's make, made him look pretty strong, which is good because... Ooh, was that just another reset? Yes, it was. A sensational sherry. 11 to toughness and 11 to speed. Let's take out Stone Cold and the Alf Poopin. And leave, leave the... Um, Used to be Undertaker fat. No, now it is Roman fat. <laughs> Sherry is in my cards. Boop, 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 boop. Unlock, lock. No, who am I in? Bray Wyatt. I'm the new face of fear. I can't do it. I fail. <laughs> yeah, this guy yeah, is my best card. I'm legendary Bray, and I'm still on the edge of it. <laughs> I'm on the butt crack of Epic. Is there anything in a team chat? I'll go back. Team chat. Nope. Let's see. Um, thanks for the promotion, Tiago. And um, as you were all aware, I did shut up my demons count yesterday. And Batman, who was in my team, um, I had a little quick little chat with him on one, my video from yesterday. So, yeah, and thanks for viewing my video, Batman. I, I, my apologies, I can't remember what your YouTube name was. So I'll say Batman because that's really amazing in the team. So, yeah, thank you, Batman, for viewing my. If you don't really, really appreciate it, appreciate it. And that is going to be it for today, you guys. I'll be back again soon for another edition of WWE Supercard. This is Amateur from Team Jangalang and CBT Warriors. Signing off. Sorry about it, I know that got a bit of a cold. It's Amateur from Team Jangalang and CBT Warriors signing off. Peace out.